Okay, so now we're ready to feed our revised data back into the ggplot functions. So this one is called percent wall type. ggplot function. <clears throat> Here we're going to set the x value village. y value two percent okay so in the previous case remember this was set to a default whenever we created a bar plot and it was just returning the count but now we're actually interested in specifying our y variable as this new percent field and we want to use the respondent wall type as the fill Follow that with a plus sign. Here we're going to use a new argument called identity. Oh, sorry. Uh, the argument is actually stat. Okay. <clears throat> uh, stat, you can see here, is overriding the default connection between geom bar and stat count. So if you remember the default uh, function of the geom bar uh, function was to use the count um, as the default y. So what stat is doing is allowing us to actually specify the value that we want for y. We put this in quotation marks. And again, we want to set position to dodge to get it side by side. Okay. All right, when you run that, <clears throat> we can see now that we have um, these different kind of groupings of bars organized by village. On our y-axis now, we have, um, instead of the count, we have it represented as a percentage. And now we should feel a bit more comfortable with kind of the fundamentals of ggplot objects. Um, and now we're gonna get into some of the more granular details about how to customize uh, things like the labels, um, the headings, the, the actual titles of the graph, um, and that sort of thing. So we'll call this new section labels. And the first thing that we're going to do is copy our code block from above. So we want to preserve uh, the same ggplot object, and then we're going to add all of our labels just as a third line of code. Okay, and this code is all going to fall under the kind of broad heading of labs, okay, or short for labels. And within the labs function, we can specify what we want our title to be. We're going to call this one proportion of wall type by glitch. Just for formatting and, and readability, I'm going to start a new line here. I'm going to say that I want my x-axis label to be village with a capital V. My y-axis label to be percent. Let's call it percentage uh, with a capital. OK, so now we have our titles. Um, if we want to further, you know, after we've seen it, maybe we decide that we want to you know, change all of this to capitalized. Uh, we can do that, make those changes. Um, everything is pretty quick from this point. It just takes these really um, kind of small uh, localized changes here in the code to, to fix that. 